Hey there, everybody. Bradley's Fenine here with Mr. Peach. We're here with part 13 of the Banway videos. And if you probably noticed, the last week here has been kind of annoying trying to download Pokemon Go. So I've looked into the alt store way to download it. As you can see there, I'm playing Pokemon Go right now. So I'll teach you quickly how to do that and the information on my account and accounts going on. And you know, the basics. So let's get to that stuff. Hope everybody's doing good. Alright, so the one account that I had in my last video was 015. And as I mentioned, the iSpoofer's been kind of down recently. The direct download's been down for quite a while. And the IPA store, which is usually all reliable through these tough times, is currently down as well. If you recall, just to clear the waters for most of you out there who's been going through this as well. IPA store had 3.8.2 and then a force update came out where it made you download the new update before you could play at all. It says update is needed, sends you to the app store. You know what I'm talking about. So shortly after that on IPA store version 3.8.3 came out and was available so I downloaded that as many others probably did since it was a, a new version after the update came out. And you download it to find out, you go to play and it says the same thing. You still have to download the update, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of what we've been stuck at. If you're like me, you've been reloading IPA store to see if it's got the new version and it hasn't, unfortunately, at least not yet. And if you go to direct download, it tells you that it's got 3.8.4, or at least it did. But it's still, the link is down, unfortunately. But they have the actual file of version 3.8.4 available. And that kind of leads us to how you can deal with a different method using a PC, which is similar to CD Impactor. If you're a spoofer from way back then, you'll know what I'm talking about. Where you basically use your own Apple ID to be the certificate or whatever so you're a develop apple developer and you just use your own email and then you could just trust that and then the app will work for you now keep in mind with this method you do have to update to the most recent ios so if you're wanting to use itools for example where you would benefit from having ios 12 over ios 13 you may want to venture onto that instead but i have multiple devices i have one that's still on ios 12 so I think I will invest into this iTools thing because as you can see there, account 015 has been hit. I downloaded the original app today just to check the account. And unfortunately it has five days left on a red warning. So that means that two days ago it was hit with its warning. So for whatever reason, that account was hit, was created on June 1st and was hit around June 10th. So I'm not too sure what was going on there. That was created right after the outage as you recall from the last video. But, as you can see there, I caught like a thousand Pokemon within the week and over a thousand Pokestops to get it to level 30. So I don't know if this speed leveling has anything to do with getting it hit. So if anyone has a lower account that still didn't get hit, please let me know below. That, that information would be very helpful. Again, thanks for all the support out there. Loving it out there. I'm getting my Patreon going too. I got starting to get some supporters on there, so... I'm going to be open to buying that iTools and checking that out. And I'm going to get more into that too as I get more supporters on there. Appreciate it more than you know. It helps a lot and it really gets me going. So appreciate that. So since it's been down for a while, you probably have noticed that I haven't been very active online. And I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, I got a kind of a different background here. I'm working on a unfinished basement, basement suite. At the same time, people out there want to play Pokemon and... Same here. I want to play Pokemon, you know? So, I looked into it, and if you see there on the iSpoofer download site, if you go to my website, bradleysfan9.com, and go to the spoofing vault there, there's a quick link to go to the install page or whatever, and that'll come up. And if you're going to that to download, and you'll see the red button, and now it says Apple Maintenance. So... Whatever that means, you can't download it right now. But they give you the options. As you can see there, There's they say three other options. And as we've been through it, IPA Store isn't working right now. Or at least they don't have the newest version. And the number two was the Pokey X experience or whatever. Which is a way to 
download it similar to IPA store, but I believe it's only for Pokemon Go. So I don't know. I've never tried it out, but that's just number two. And number one, they say alt store is what it's called, and you need to use a PC. So I was curious as to what that meant, because it sounded like City Impactor. So I looked more into it, and surprise, surprise, I figured it out, and we got Pokemon going here. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to get that going. I created a new account, 016, as you can see there. It's got the basic stats. It's got nothing going on. I just created it, so there's the stats really mean nothing right now, but I'll get to it next week. Hopefully it's still alive. But as I said, IPA store and direct download are currently not working. So this alt store method, method seems to be the only way to play right now, at least using iSpoofer. As we mentioned before, if you use iTools, it's a thing you could purchase and it changes your whole phone location. You could watch my other videos to get more into that. And like I said, I plan on buying one of those and then I'll make a full video dedicated to how to use that and when I get it and things like that. In the future, I'll still stick with iSpoofer and show you what's going on there. But until then, we're going to be just sticking to straight iSpoofer. So I'll show you how to do the alt store thing here now. All right. So to be clear, by tomorrow, I should have a more in-depth version of this, how to get this thing going. Basically, just to give it its own video so that you don't have to search through the bandway videos to try and find how to do this. And it'll just be more in-depth. But for this video right now, I'll show you a quick run through and most of you will know how to do this just by this quick run through. So to start off, like I said, you need to have the most up to date iOS. That's like if you go to the settings and go to update, you're going to want to update to the most recent iOS. So when you go to download iSpoofer under direct download, it gives you the option of the under option one there using the alt store and a PC. So that's what we're doing here. So when you go to the direct download area, now if you just go to my website like I said, or you could go to the description in below in the video and I'll add a quick link there that you could just go to this page. And then you go to the iSpoofer download page and then you click the alt, the number one, the alt store option there. And then it'll bring you to a different uh how to page which is a pretty good description most of you could probably just find out how to do it just by following those steps but i'll run through them here and add a little extra to them so to start off you're going to want to download the ipa file which is basically the iSpoofer app itself and download it onto your pc so right away it'll have a little link there it'll be obvious and you can just download it and it'll be the version 3.8.4 iSpoofer. so this is how you're going to get onto your device without using IPA store or direct download. So the requirements for this, you need four things. They're all going to need to be, they say, downloaded from iTunes website. But if you're doing it from, like I said, the link that I sent you to, it'll have the quick links for you. So then you just follow the steps and click the links when you're supposed to, and they'll send you where to download them. So like I said, I'll show you a more descriptive video in the next day here just based on the alt store download for iSpoofer, but I'll quickly run through these steps. So step one, you're going to want to download and install the alt server. So after I installed and restarted the PC, it asked me to check for updates automatically. Although if you seeing it on the website there, it'll tell you to uncheck it as you're installing it, but it didn't give me that option until I restarted the PC after step two. So step two, so first you download the alt server and install it. And then step two, you download and install iCloud for Windows. So it gives you the link there. But after I installed alt server, it automatically gave me the option or it automatically started downloading the iCloud for me. So I just kept going with that download, accepted it. And then after the download was finished, it said you need to restart for these updates, blah, blah, blah. So as the step two says, you have to restart your PC. So you go and do that. So after it's restarted, then I was asked for alt server, whether I wanted to automatically look for updates or not. So you're going to want to check the don't check button there. And then so that it won't screw up your alt server in the future, or at least that's what iSpoofer's telling you, telling us. So then step three, you're going to want to download and run the alt server patcher. So there's the alt store server and then the alt server patcher. A little confusing, they're kind of similar, but different. But either way, there's those two things there. So you're gonna to wanna to download the alt store server first, 
then iCloud for Windows, and then once you restart your computer, you're going to want to download and run the Alt Server Patcher. And then once you run that, you'll see a little square on your screen there. And then you'll see the utility to install on the left. And then you just click the option there. And then it'll give like to the right of it. And you click it, you'll see the bunch of different options. You're going to want to click the, it was at the very bottom for me, custom IPA link. And then once you click that one, you're going to want to copy and paste the link that is in the step-by-step -step on the download page for iSpoofer. Or, and if you're just following me here, I'll put that in the description as well. So copy and paste that link into that area under the URL, URL the HTTPS colon slash slash area. And then once it's in there, you click patch. So that basically... I guess patches the app itself and ready it readies it to load it onto a device for you. I should also mention you want to have iTunes for Windows downloaded so that you can connect your device to your computer properly. Mine was already downloaded so I didn't need to go into that. If you did the City Impactor way back when, it's kind of similar to that so you'll kind of find some similarities through these steps here. So then once you copy and paste that URL, hit patch, then you're going to want to locate and run the alt store server that you downloaded in the step one. Now after I downloaded it, I sent it to my desktop as a shortcut, but you could just go into your most likely program files under C, but you could have changed that, but under default it would go to your program files under your C drive, and then you find it there. And you're going to want to run it. And now you're going to wonder, why isn't it showing up on my screen? But if you look in the bottom right there of your computer, it'll be in your little taskbar and it'll look like a little diamond. So you kind of click on that and it'll show you four different options. And you're going to want to hit the install alt store option. And then once you're on that, if you have your device connected, which you should by now, you could have had it from the beginning. It doesn't matter when you plug it in. But then it'll show you your device. So you go to install alt store. You go to the taskbar, the diamond, and then install alt store. And then you click your device. So once you click that device, it'll bring up a section where you have to put in your Apple ID and your password. So this is similar to the Cydia Impactor that we used to use where you used your own Apple ID to trust and run the app instead of having to use the different certificates that got revoked constantly and you just have to do it every week. So I'm not too sure you have, if you have to redo this every week or not. I'll catch up to you next week, next Friday, with more that I've figured out on this. But as I told you, this is the first time trying it. Just started it today. So once you type in, you're going to want to just put in your own Apple ID and password. At this point, you could make a new one if you want, I believe. But I just type in my normal one. There's no like repercussions. It's not going to hurt you in any way or steal your money. So you put in your Apple ID and password, and then it'll give you a little op little thing saying it's putting it onto your device in some sort of way. It may take a few minutes, and then eventually you'll see on your actual thing here, your device, you'll see the Pokemon app. The Pokemon symbol, it'll just show up there. Like normal, you're going to have to go into your settings, and then go into general profiles and device management, and then trust your own email there. Obviously, mine's blocked out so that I don't get spammed with crap, but your email will be there, and then you just go and trust that. And then once it's trusted, you should be able to just open the app. Now, if the app doesn't open, and you're wondering why you did all these steps and then it won't open, that means you don't have the right iOS, and you're probably on iOS 12 or something older. Like I said, you have to have the most up-to-date iOS. I looked into the iSpoofer support page and people were wondering why they couldn't do it and that was the reason why you have to have the most up-to-date iOS so basically that's the steps there uh, that's how to use the alt store option using a PC to get iSpoofer going so you can play iSpoofer like me right now and get back to doing what you want to do on iSpoofer unfortunately like I said my last account did get banned which didn't last very long so I'm not too sure what's going on there like I said, I'll be looking more into iTools as well, and I'll still be sticking with 016. And I'm thinking if the bands had anything to do with the level or how many Pokemon I caught, I'm going to not use the gotcha for this account, 
and just kind of basically play like a normal person would and try not to overload and speed level things and see if that has any effect. And like I said in other videos, please, with all your research out there, other people have accounts and have tried things too, comment below. All your information is very helpful to me and others. Lots of other people scroll through the comments and find things out as well. So all the community is great to chat and talk about stuff and try and figure things out because we're all just trying to have a good time here and just enjoy Pokemon Go as much as we can. So I hope everyone out there is doing good. I hope this information helped you at least start playing Pokemon because the last few days can be painful if you weren't playing and weren't able to play. So I hope this cleared things up, gave you another option, and just gave you my weekly update on what's going on with the band waves. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in my other video. See you next week.